hi again and i'm sorry for the disturbance technical issue hi jantika hi hi kali how are you all welcome to curiosity talks with shrishti let me just add rajesh sir hi banduni hi shika hello anshvya i'm good banduni how are you hi shrishti good evening Good evening. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm also good. Welcome to Curiosity Talks with Shristi. Thank you. How are you, sir? How's your city? How's mm. everything there? I'm I'm doing good. Uh, city again. Uh, there were few COVID cases detected in our society uh, just yesterday. So we are taking all our precautions now. We uh, be very careful because uh, the number of patients which have have been increasing very rapidly over here. Yeah, same here. That's the situation here also. So, shall we start? Yes, yes. Yeah. So, so tell us something about your journey. When did you thought of doing this digital marketing and obviously imparting knowledge and teaching lots of people? How when you decided to do that? Uh, I'll just introduce myself to everyone. Uh, i am i am rajesh deshpande and i'm 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 from belgium this is based in karnataka and this is very near to goa now belgium is a very beautiful city yeah and uh, yeah and uh, to just a uh, brief about myself i did i did my engineering in electronics and yeah 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 so with you okay okay Uh, I I passed out my engineering on uh, in ninety nine, and then it has been a long uh, career in IT where I have worked with a lot of multinational companies. To name a few, I worked with uh, uh, Tech Mahindra, Cognizant, Pinox Technologies, where uh, I was a project manager, then a senior project manager, and uh, then I did my MBA in operations management, and that's where I discovered uh, my flair of uh, marketing. <laughs> So that's that's where, and then then I have been a CTO of two financial distribution companies, okay. where I have been helping them to set up the complete technology systems and again using different marketing tools and generating business from them. So that has been very successful attempts from us. And uh, just last year, I started my company known as Endeavor Marketing. So this is primarily into IT and marketing. Yeah, so okay. that that's about me. Yeah. That's the yeah, and I've been taking uh, classes, uh, online classes, and uh, in uh, digital marketing, in software testing, and business analytics. I visit almost fifteen engineering and management colleges in Karnataka and Maharashtra, oh. and uh, guest faculty for the Harvard HBX Co program based in India, where I teach business analytics. That's nice. That's really nice. That's a wonderful journey, sir. Yeah, and I'm enjoying this now. Yeah, an entrepreneur journey has been awesome. There were initial hiccups, but now it has stabilized. Okay. So, when did you choose Instagram as a platform? Instagram. Uh, I didn't took Instagram seriously any time earlier because being into IT and uh, holding bigger positions in corporates. I never used to find that much time. I just, uh, I just used to keep updating my social presence. And uh, regarding Instagram, it was just one year where I started posting a lot of things on Instagram about my uh, coaching classes, about my lectures, and all those things. And for the past uh, three, four months, I'm more active into Instagram. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so the one thing that is that we all know in a lame language that digital marketing is all about marketing via internet. I would really like to know an expert point of view. That what is it exactly? Now, uh, see, marketing is basically promoting your uh, services, your brands. That that is the primary goal of marketing, and you need to reach your right audience, right? 
Now earlier, if you talk about traditional marketing, it was all about print media, right? Okay. And we didn't have the digital media in place that time. I mean, it was uh, not that much. If you see the cost involved in print marketing, that was very huge. Right? Now, and plus, if you want to have global reaches, which was really not possible unless you have bigger marketing budgets. With digital marketing, what this has done is. we have a lot of platforms where you can promote your services your brand and at the same time you can reach at the global level now for, let, let's take a simple example now if you have some fmcg products which you want to promote right not required that you need to be uh, to be based in bigger metros and all you can start this business from wherever whichever city you are and then pr- pr- promote your services now even the supply chain management has become so easier we have drop shipping in place now selling your products and reaching any global market has become very easy now that's yeah. why digital marketing is taken a bigger place now and if any and even if you see the budgets which have been allotted by uh, most of the corporates and most of the corporates they are more into digital marketing now because all of us are aware now the the reach and the benefits what we are going to get from digital marketing so that's how it is taken a great leap now and this will go on ahead even if you talk of the e-commerce industry now e-commerce is picking up in a very big way now mm-hmm. and and this is going to grow because the internet crowd and uh, and india is going to be a big market for it and so this is going to increase a lot in future as well yeah yeah so i would just like to say that to all our viewers if they have any question related to digital marketing you all can ask sir right now in the comment section So tell me one thing. Everything has some pros and cons. So what do you think that what cons does digital marketing have? Now uh, to talk about the cons of digital marketing. Now as we discuss about uh, now digital marketing has got more pros uh, compared to the cons because what what I feel is the benefits what every individual or a business that gets from digital marketing is compared to be very high. Now since uh, you are. Uh, posting your content into this digital uh, medium right so the content has to be very good the content has to be very good because this is a platform where you can reach huge audiences right the only thing if if the content is not good right now we have seen uh, if the content is really not good then this this may cause a bad effect on your brand or an individual also right so you have to be very careful about that to keep uh, posting content which is going to be more valuable and keep promoting your brands and i feel that uh, it it is more of pros than cons because i don't think much cons are there into digital marketing as well that's great that's great so you bio mentions technology guidance for uh, systems for business right what does that mean it's really catchy can you describe it for us now one thing i would like to make uh, everyone clear is now you may be the best digital marketer in the world right you may be providing the best services to all your corporate clients or uh, individual but remember one thing if the business doesn't have uh, systems in place right your marketing efforts are not going to yield that results because whatever uh, business you are generating through digital marketing or any other type of marketing if if the business is not able to handle those things right so then then it becomes a problem but if you have systems in place remember systems never fail once you set up the system they will give you results every time we can fail but systems will never fail right that's where when when i pitch to the client it, it is not not just about a uh, different types of digital marketing or the services that we and my company provides now what we do is we uh, we analyze the company first i mean what what systems are in place in the company right and then we suggest them what system they need to have in their business right mm-hmm. because yeah. with this system they can have very very good impact on the uh, market now uh, l- let's talk about the financial distribution industry yeah i'll cite an example for it now so the first thing what i want them is to have good digital presence and to have good digital presence it, it has to be started with a website right so i i suggest them of a dynamic website right now what does this dynamic website mean is now first they are going to showcase all their products i mean 
home loan, project loans, construction loans, uh, all, all the types of different loan services and investment services, what they are in. That's the primary part. Then we have a lead form right on the front page where people can just put in their input. Right. Next thing is, we will have now to add more value to people. What we do is, we give people exact calculation of the eligibility of their loan. Right. They just need to put in just basic information. For example, they uh, click on home loan. Right. So. With minimum information, what we capture from these customers, what we do is now we have pro we program the systems in such a way that uh, this happen, uh, this is in sync with the banks. Now, for example, the government changes the MCLR rates, right? Yeah. That's the rate of interest. Now it gets reflected in the banks. Now, now if you have this and this is going to be reflecting in our systems now. So what happens when? I fill my basic information. I mean, my name, my spouse name, then what is going to be my loan requirement, and all those things. I will give him an eligibility from 70 banks. What is going to be the eligibility of his loan? What is going to be his tenure? What is going to be rate of interest? The amortization charts. So, without he living his home, we'll be getting an idea of what is his loan eligibility now. So, that's going to be a more value addition to it. Now, sometimes people look for transferring their home loans. Yeah, balance transferring. So uh, we have uh, we have built calculators where people can get an idea of what amount of savings that they can do. Apart from that, many other systems like your your business partner network, which will help you develop deals across the country. Then we have messenger bot. So I was just talking an example of one uh, distribution industry. Likewise, what I always feel is if if you work with your client and help them in technology first, then your marketing efforts are going to lead, uh, in, uh, will, be, will, be, will be giving you greater results. And what, what I do is, even if you see my website, I give free technical consultation to people now. Right. If they have a business and if they want to consult me about what technology system they need to have in their business, then I personally have a video call with them interact with the business, analyze the business, and tell them what system do they require for their business. And then, if they want my services, I can always help them with my services, or else they can get it done from anywhere. Okay. You run WhatsApp uh, lessons also, right? Uh, like you was, Since you were talking about finance industry, I remember you were running a class named as Digital Free uh, Freedom for Financial Distribution, right? So tell us something more about that. So those classes and courses, what are that? And is the registration still on about that? Yes. Now, uh, this is a, uh, I've introduced a new concept here. So this is going to be a WhatsApp group class for the financial distribution industry. Now, okay. all the people who are into finance distribution, or the finance distribution corporates, or we call them DACs as well. So they are welcome to join this program. Now, this is going to be a five-day program where I send insights on WhatsApp throughout the day, right? So how, to, uh, how to go about your business right from the operations, the scaling of your business, right? And then what system do you need in place? And evening I go live with them. So it's a one hour video conferencing, which I go live with them. So they can ask me any queries and I guide them what technology systems and how to build those systems. So that's a five day program what we have. So the registration are still on. Uh, we are starting this program on June seventh, so which is going to be there till June eleventh. Okay. Okay. All the best for it. Now, tell us one thing, sir. Is there any difference or similarities between marketing and branding? How social media brand the person? Like not for like. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, sister. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm asking, how social media in branding person? Now, if you talk about branding, it is basically about building an identity of an individual or a company. Right. That is going to be a branding. Now, right. since we are using digital medium, it, it becomes very easier. You can have your active presence on all social media platforms, right? And then build your brand 
of an individual or a company as well you can if for a company it is a wonderful opportunity where they can showcase all their products and services on a daily basis so they are increasing their engagement and we have seen how best detail targeting we can do on any platforms where we reach in the right audience because reaching the right audience and pitching your services is very important in marketing because finally it all boils down to the budgets of the company because the companies are spending a lot of money into marketing so as marketers it is very important to make sure that all the services and the products are going to reach to the right audience so and if when you talk about marketing marketing is all about promotions no we want to reach our product and services to the right audience and where are right audiences now social media is all the social media platforms you will find every every one of your b2b corporates your consumers everyone is going to be uh, in these platforms so that's is a wonderful medium where we can reach these guys yeah and uh, if you if you're doing it right i mean you get amazing results because i i've been doing b2b marketing as well as b2b b2c marketing for a very long time now and uh, b2b uh, i i view linkedin has been very useful for me apart from that linkedin facebook and instagram b2b b2b marketing yes yeah okay so one thing in digital marketing we run campaigns right yes so how do you judge the success or failure of a campaign and how do you maintain it like everybody wants a campaign to be a success but if you're not getting any certain response so how to handle that situation no uh, one thing one thing what we do is now initially when once we start up with any any particular campaign for a company all i always started with a low budget first okay. i i do split testing i analyze the campaign the performance of the campaign for the first few days how the campaign is performing and are we getting any results from it if we are not getting any result then there is no point running that campaign that means your campaign is not going well over there that means you need to tweak your ads you need to do some modifications you need to modify your ad contents and that that's where you can start seeing results in your analytics as well and that's how uh, you can monitor your your campaign okay okay and so what quality should a digital entrepreneur should have like what skills and qualities we need okay now not only digital entrepreneur as such now the first thing is you need to you need to be expert in your skills in mean, whatever skills you are possessing so uh, that that is very important but if you talk about an entrepreneur in general now one thing you remember that as an entrepreneur you will be requiring several qualities first thing be open for rejection okay right? that that's very important because what happens everyone starts with the entrepreneurial journey right for few days and then when they start getting hips or uh, hips and then they start going back on the journey first thing is you need to have good faith in yourself that's very important and in your vision it's only then when you can put in all your hard work and go ahead next thing is risk taking ability now what i feel is many of them just feel that uh, if they're coming up with new ideas people will not accept it society may not but what i always suggest is first thing very important thing is you are following your dreams and vision that is very important live aside society for some time don't think much about it right because whatever position you are you are going to be a successful person there are always going to be critics use this criticism for your own growth if you are getting critics try and to improve more develop more skills that's where you are going to go ahead then again your determination is very important and all, all these things picks up uh, makes you a very good entrepreneur very well sir so very well said and, and rejection I... that is very important very important accept your rejection <laughs> because i have seen many many people who just get back i mean it's it's fine i mean if you if you're starting with a project it's not working it's absolutely fine that means that that is not the right way of doing it Get get into something else or try a new way of doing it. Don't yeah. bother down just uh, by getting some views from society that you're not doing good, uh, good or all those things. Just the just troll. believe it. They are trollers. <laughs> <laughs> you once said it to me that technology is a catalyst for smart marketing. Yes. 
Yes. How is that? Can you describe? What do you meant when you said that it's a catalyst for smart marketing? Yes. Now, uh, see, what what happens is, uh, l- let's talk. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll give an example also. Right? So, as as we discuss some time back also, I mean, technology plays a very vital role. Very vital role. I mean, any any technology what you're using. Let's so uh, let's talk about the chatbot technology as well. Right? How chatbots can be very useful for any particular business. Right? Now you have got a- AI chatbots integrated into your systems. Your customers, your you uh, can interact with those uh, bots and your bots can take all the information from them now, for example even even uh, if you want to collect payments right so with links the payments can be done through those chat links as well for example you are doing some reservations so all all those things can be done. this is just one example of it now if if uh, again i stress on the same point that having technology systems for any business you analyze your business well don't just think of limiting your business to only localized regions i mean if you're working in uh, let's say i'm based in pune now so why do you want to just limit your uh, operation just to pune why can't why can't you explore it globally right now you have got platforms in place it is become so easy you know to reach even if you're manufacturing certain product now let's say uh, let's let's talk about uh, simple products like masalas and uh, the condiments right So, if you have a business around it, right, and even if you are in a type two or a type three cities, why can't you take this business global? It's become so easy now. The supply chain has become so easier. We have got so many systems. You have got uh, AliExpress. You have got Amazon, right? So you don't have to worry about this. So right from picking up from your doorstep to reaching your destination, all has become so easy. So have a broader vision. think of expanding your business globally and use all this technology very smartly and and this is really going to help you yeah. so tell us something about the role of paid marketing and one more thing how do you decide at what should be a budget for a particular project or a for particular campaign so how the budget process is done how is it decided okay now we we are all aware now because uh, gone are the days where uh, the reach of uh, the organic reach was very more it's it's no more now right it's it's uh, the all the social medias it's all into paid platforms now the more budget you are uh, putting it into the social media you are getting you are capture you are reaching more people you are capturing a lot of leads but but remember one thing now when you are talking about businesses now there are going to be small businesses mid sized businesses and large corporates right your budgets have to be according to those businesses right because large corporates have got large infrastructure where they can manage large number of projects or the uh, the leads what you are capturing from these campaigns right and they, they and and they can afford to have larger budget but what about the smaller companies they also want to promote this right so what what you do is sometimes they have very less budgets i mean spending 15 to 20000 a month also becomes a difficult task for them what to do that because if they want to run this campaign for 3 months they'll end up spending 60000 in this it it becomes real challenge for them so what you need to do is you break up this campaign you don't need to have this campaign running for the entire month run it for few days let's say about a week's time keep a smaller budget right generate leads for them let them work on this lead close this lead generate revenue from it and then put the same re- part of the revenue into the campaigns again right so starting with a low budget i mean what what you can do is sometimes what happens if these companies are giving they hesitate to give it to uh, say a big uh, agent where the budget costs are going to be very high right so it again depends upon individual uh, we could we charge this people yeah. i mean keep all a budget while working with smaller companies and then according to the size of the company shift your budget and always remember to start those things with a very small budget let's say uh, if you want to test the campaign let's say you can start a campaign with let's say 300 rupees or 400 rupees a day analyze the results for 3 days and then modify your campaign so that that is what how we go about okay So we got a question from Shubham Verma. He's asking that I'm working on a dairy project. Is there any possible way to enhance it 
nationally from a single manufacturing plant i'm working on a dairy project uh, can you just repeat the question please yeah it's that i'm working on a dairy pro uh, dairy project is there okay. any possible way to enhance it on a national level by a single manufacturing plant now uh see he he is working on a dairy or uh, dairy products uh, campaign right yeah where what a manufacturing manufacturing string unit yeah and the manufacturing unit uh, must be based in a part of a country and they want to uh, move these products across the country right yes it is very much possible yes so he is just asking about it that uh, if you can share some knowledge with him for that see what what you can do is one one thing what you have to do is uh, regarding the dairy uh, regarding the, uh, the manufacturing company they should have the presence on social media first right they uh, start promoting your products initially and then what you can do is depending upon what what products you actually want to move into this markets right for example you may have milk powder cheese paneer and all those things right so f first thing they they might be having a particular brand name for it so start promoting that brand you have got the social media platforms uh then again you create videos around it so okay. that is again going to be very useful for you and then again with campaigns you can really sell this products very well because okay. i've also been working with my manufacturing clients so uh, these campaigns have helped them uh, uh, very well in their uh, lead generation process so how do you differentiate at which platform to use according to the leads like how do you decide that in which platform you should run a campaign okay now uh, recently i have been working with a furniture uh, company over here right okay. now for them for them lead generation is not going to be any use because uh, i i'll not get my customers by having lead generation over there no one is going to fill the form and visit the store right because that that's is going to be a physical company over there now depending yeah. upon what business you are you need to decide those campaigns right for now this point a uh, branding campaign is going to be very important to them okay for the furniture company which we are targeting on and yeah. primarily what we are using is we are using facebook and instagram for branding and yeah. this is helping us a lot because we 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 started this campaign in the month of february and we got a lot of people visiting their uh, uh, company uh, their workshop and they have generated sales from it now in in this lockdown period what we have been doing is we have been continuously promoting their products i mean different different uh, product range and uh, we are keeping people engaged so that's how we are helping them and again uh, what we can do is uh, then if you decide about any other company now i was working with a company uh, for b2b marketing which i said right now uh, that company was providing chief financial officers part time chief financial officers Okay. So corporates have got turnover between five crores to five hundred crores. So that was B two B marketing project. What we were working, we were working on a project for almost three months over there. We successfully generated sixty eight leads from the campaign, and they were able to convert seventeen of them. Great, yeah. And there, and there, it was it was uh, for the branding uh, and the lead generation. We were using Facebook, we were using Instagram, and we were using LinkedIn over there for the campaign. Okay. So again, no. depending upon what, yeah. No, tell me, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. We have a different question. Uh, Yati is asking. She's saying, "Hello, sir. Thank you for the session today. Indeed, very enlightening. My question is, how do we recognize which platform is best for my business?" No, again, as I said, uh, what business you are into. Th that is very important now i i share an example of furniture industry where lead generation is not going to play any role over there it is just going to be branding but think think about an e-commerce or an fmcg product uh, company now they have got so many products over there right now these products now you can always market now uh, you can market your products very well in this now for an e-commerce company facebook instagram youtube right are going to play a very vital role right imagine the amount of leads what you can generate from this right apart from that when you have these technologies in place right so that really helps i mean 
technologies what i talk about is uh, a very dynamic website then you have got messenger chat ai chat integration into it we have crms at the back end where the leads are going to be shared with your sales team on real time basis so okay. you are valuing both the time and money aspect you are controlling the time and the money aspect of it because when it comes to operations it's it's the budgets and the money which are going to be involved into it right mm -hmm. from marketing point of view you are just talking about one angle about generating that business for the company but from a company's point of view there are multiple departments which need to be handled which require again not a budgeting and if if you are able to save money into it in your operations by using the systems it becomes very easier that's where when you have this customized crms for each of your businesses set right then what you can do is even even facebook allows you to integrate your crms the leads are going to be coming to the crm and from the crm uh, you can have a uh, simple apps which are going to be designed for your sales executives where i pass on this lead on real time now let your sales executives be in any part of the country right so yeah. even even if they are moving in a particular city and they have gone to one part of it i will not ask my sales executive come back to my office after closing one lead to so be there if they are going to be real time leads i'll just pass on to you in the real time so just close that lead and then you come back to the office so it's okay. it's time and the money aspect and you're saving huge money in your operation sir so do you provide training to the corporates also like now the corporates also generate lead and they have a different digital marketing team for it so do you provide professional training also to them the uh, see they invite me on a guest lecture basis so i i i, I do conduct workshop for them so uh, it's going to be a half day workshop or a one day workshop it's going to be a live uh, coaching with them i mean the classroom coaching as well as uh, we have practical sessions going on right and th this is what i do in uh, when i visit this mba colleges as well because so i've been visiting a lot of colleges uh, so as i said i I'm, i'm a visiting faculty fellows for three colleges so there i got a two day workshop but again two day workshop is a very small time but again i i give them insights on how you have to go about because uh, they have a rough uh, they have got a very narrow mindset very narrow mindset where they just think that marketing is just a sales job go to the market sell the sell those products they are really not aware of what careers they can have in this either you can start your own business into this or you can take any of your idea to a very large level i always work with them i encourage them so that if you have any idea if you want to work with me i'll help you guys to really build this idea and, and let's take it to the very big level yeah similarly uh, i i work with the engineering guys as well i i visit a lot of engineering colleges where i have got my workshop in software testing as well okay. software testing software automation so there is going to be a three day workshop where i teach them lot of cool which are going to be necessary and how from the industry point of view because what i've seen is there is a gap between the academics and the industry yeah so what, right. what i do is I, i try to bridge this gap where these people become job ready when they come out of the market plus i always tell them a uh, job is always not everything if you have ideas think of entrepreneurship as well because it it's it's going to be it, entrepreneurship is always very nice so you're personally liking it a lot very much very much and no limit and travel anywhere you can work with any number of I, i like meeting people and talking a lot good to know that <laughs> have a fun game because in the previous episodes people were just asking me about the game that why we didn't have a game so this time we'll have a game it's a very simple game you have to name three things in 5 seconds okay okay i'll give you the category so ready yeah yeah okay so at first you have to name three cities starting with t alphabet t in 5 seconds uh tehran is one okay uh trivandrum tehran trichy right okay three fruits with p in 5 seconds uh pear passion fruit uh, plums papaya danza <laughs> okay 
three platforms for digital marketing in five seconds. That's easy for you. Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. Uh, you've got so many platforms here. Okay, three China apps which are recently been banned by India in five seconds. Uh, one is TikTok. The that's, most that's famous. Modern. You see, browser is there. Mm. And then um, cam cam scanner. Yeah, true. <laughs> the people. <laughs> time over. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Three countries from A in five seconds. Three countries. Oh, that that's okay. Uh, Australia. Uh, so okay, Australia. Then we have Austria. Then, yeah. Then uh, Azerbaijan. Okay, and uh, okay. And I guess we have three. No, three vegetables from C in five seconds. Three vegetables from C. From C. I see. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, it's cabbage, cauliflower, carrot. Right. <laughs> you said it. Okay, sir. Okay. Now I'll ask you one question. That personally, which platform you prefer the most for the marketing? which platform uh, if you if you talk about me i'm enjoying instagram a lot okay right instagram uh, i have just started with youtube as well but i've uh, put in some videos over there and uh, and my channel is all about technology and marketing so i i keep talking a lot about technology uh, different different systems in technology and industry specific system because right now i'm i'm uh, carrying a series uh, w- uh, which is all into financial distribution the next one is going to be about education So it, it's going to be different different industries which I'm going to cater. Oh, okay. And uh, I like I like yes. Facebook also a lot. Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, which is currently there, and and WhatsApp, obviously, where most of my friends from across the countries will be there. So we have a good time on WhatsApp as well. Uh, so one thing, if you I you will also realize that. in this lockdown digitalization has just boomed everybody is now using technology and everything so once we'll get back to normal do you think that this thing is going to affect i mean uh, see the, now since more now uh, what this pandemic has done is uh, it it is just like uh, come like a jolt to lot of businesses now yeah. many businesses who were online were able to conduct their business and they were making money in this time as well but majority of the businesses were without technology support and that's where they got a big hit and 3 months to 4 months of time for an entrepreneur or in any business it's going to be very difficult times think think about the operations and the costs which are going to be involved for the business we have got their rents they have got to pay money for the people who work for them right plus no sales plus no sales which are happening right the money is not rolling at all right and yeah. now they now this is the time where it will create lot of opportunities for the it industry as well to develop lot of system on get this businesses into this market so it's going to be big business going to come away right so big um, big uh, business coming to the it guys apart from that the marketing guys as well right now just just think about the payment sector now i've been using digital payments to such a large extent which i never used to use before or simple grocery when i go to buy grocery i'm using d pay and so many other thing pay is on the is and so this is going to increase in for that it is going to be good actually for all the business because this was covid this time who knows there might be something else in future who knows about it yeah. right because there was spanish flu in 1918 and 19 it, it had a similar effect and lasted for two years and this is covid now but we should always expect and thank uh, and uh, pray to god that such things may not happen in future again but to prepare for any eventuality eventuality right businesses have to be prepared they must be proactive and visionary i mean they must be prepared to uh, be uh, i mean to face all odds right and going digital is is going to be very good for them it's going to benefit them a lot okay 
because I, i'll give one example uh in this lockdown period we used to order all our uh, necessary essentials and groceries to dmart right yeah. and they had a beautiful system where they used to tap, it was ordering to the app and they used to come out to our society also with all the essential we just need to collect it from uh, our society gate right yeah. and the payment was completely digital Digitally. no cash well so, so they were taking all the and and they were and they made really good money in this time Okay. Yeah. So tell us one thing. Oh, Swati is asking that now since you said that you will come into now education sector also. Yes. She is asking that where is a better career graph for uh, youth in government jobs or in private sectors? I mean, uh, is she talking about her or how is it? I mean, for youth, for young generation. Oh, like okay. Okay. no. one thing remember that uh, if if you talk about the government job and the private job if, if you think of stability as the uh, the main thing right and being in there for a job for a pretty long time right it, it it's it's government job which you generally uh, tend to think yeah. but remember now gone are the days where you are going to be sticking to a particular job for years together our grandfathers and all when you used to get into a job for them changing a job was something very big big thing they yeah, used to continue they used to continue for a very long time but now you have got so many opportunities coming up so many opportunities coming up uh, apart from uh, they, they are good pay masters as well right so it's it's going to be uh, be prepared to go into private jobs as well but again sticking to the private job again it's uh, and it can difficult because there are so many things to control the private sector where people lose lot of their job where this will not happen in the government sector so that's where yeah. the stability comes in right so it again depends upon an individual choice but if you're looking for for pay paying in private is a very good option so better be an entrepreneur right entrepreneur is always good but uh, you need to be prepared for lot of things lot of things <laughs> society will first reject you that that take that for us <laughs> so from then, this you get you know self learning yeah for 6 months one year time and then you start stabilizing yourself yeah and that's where you see the real growth yeah true true now sir just a quick tip for how to be uh engaging on social media or how to be active how to be active on social media one thing is have a daily presence on social media now uh, choose the platforms where uh, you are comfortable with or you like to hang out with now facebook is very good instagram is very good uh, again if you are uh, if you are good in making videos or if you want to start making videos there is nothing like being good into videos initially everyone is bad in it everyone is bad so talking in a group of friends is very easier than talking in front of a camera true not easy for the first time yeah. but why don't you give it a try why don't you give it a try you might fail 5 times 10 times 15 times but then every time you fail you are learning something out of it that this is not the right way to do it so let me improve it turn in front of mirror start talking so that will build your confidence and you move into digital, the video platform to so whatever platforms you are comfortable start hanging on it uh, keep sharing daily on to it create value for your audience uh, and engage with your audience not only you as such but there are so many uh, people who are putting in such beautiful content on the web appreciate that content appreciate really appreciate that content send in your comments and keep learning from everyone learning should never stop because i always tell my students when i visit those colleges as well that even though you have a masters degree or a master mba in your uh, in any stream or you become an edtech don't stop learning now what happens uh, things change so dynamically that if if you you will be left behind actually so keep learning improving and growing and that that's where you can give more and more value yeah. so now ankita is asking a question first of all she is writing hello shrishti and hello rajesh sir hello ankita Now, a question Hello. that if a person wants to advertise their product, 
using okay. digital marketing then what should be the first step a person could take for this the first step should be taken for a product advertising now uh, first thing when you have decided what product you have uh, you want to buy right next thing is you need to decide your uh, market now right because you need you need to make your product reach the right audience because remember one thing you are putting in your hard earned money into this that is very important that you need to identify the audience now then if if you are good into digital marketing then you yourself can do it or spend some time learn digital marketing at, at least learn how to generate this campaigns uh, learn the sim simple campaigns you can do it for you initially you can do it for yourself if your budget is uh, if you have budget limits or else you can give it to a person who is uh, who you trust and uh, who has been generating uh, good results for your products that is very important then think of the geography what you want to have now whether you want to uh, because what happens if you are into any specific services which you can provide only in that particular city there is no point advertisement are doing advertisement in the other city as well right so that again is very important then your budgets are very important after that what platforms are you going to invest in right now first thing what is important is if your product is well known right okay. it is added advantage where it can sell it on its own now because it has been established brand now but if it is a new brand first thing is start promoting your brand organically first to reach some set of people initially right then have a, if you uh, have a website or just a single landing page for it okay remember when you're doing ads landing page converts far better compared to a website landing page right so page, yeah. a single landing page out your product where you have got call to action where people or even an order form where people can just fill in the form it is going to be focused to that particular product yeah right so you have got so many landing page builders where you can create it for yourself it is very easy right and and then start uh, promoting it and then gradually start investing into small a smaller amount into your advertisement and start uh, generating leads from it even even what you can do is uh, you can add payment gateways to it where people can uh, even pay you at least where you can at least take part of the payment so that the order is confirmed okay. another time of delivery the next payment can happen yeah i hope uh, i could answer your question here yeah no so i have one quick question in my mind like there are lots of scams happening right in the internet and all so yes what how to make a post or a campaign that it looks genuine to people that they go and check it because if you are asking about payment and everything so that is a bit risky so how to make it a legit see if if it is going to be product right if it is going to be new product now see there are always going to be some buyers right to start with if if you are launching a new product and it's completely new to the market the, uh, don't don't accept uh, expect that it's going to perform really well or you're going to get huge sales for the first time it, it's a process where your product is going to be uh, coming up as a brand getting established in the market it, it takes some time for it and then building trust and then the sales starts happening both right now what you can do is this is this is the curve which generally happens in the next thing what we can do is uh, yes you talked about a lot of scams which are happening right now what what happens is so people so people are hesitant and putting in some money into it right? yeah so initially right. you can put some offers there i mean uh, if you are selling this product for a certain price uh, it it comes with certain benefits to you to so attach some benefits and perks to it right and then Tell and now tell people how this product is going to solve their problem, right? Because people are going to buy your product on or service if it is going to solve a particular problem of theirs. And if uh, your ad is that compelling, your uh, your content has to be very useful. I mean, you need to make clear or to the people that uh, we understand your pain, right? your untold pain we are understanding that and how we are giving a solution to your problem 
right? Okay. Then you give a credibility of yours. I mean, we we have been working on this, or the product has been giving, uh, the it has giving so many benefits to the consumer. Right. So why don't you give it a try? So yeah. the content has to be very engaging to the people, and that's where the product starts selling. For a new product, at least keep some time for uh, the, the things to happen properly. Yeah. Yeah. So just here also accept the rejection first. <laughs> I always tell that. Yeah. Yeah. So sir, now since it's the time, now I have to we have to wrap up the show. I'll just ask a quick question. Mm -hmm. But first of all, I'm just asking something again. She's like. Thank you, sir. And one last question: That how can a person initially know that where to spend the money? Like you said, demographic-wise, because learning of campaign is required for this. See what you what you can do is uh, if if you are really interested, then you can take up some course where you can learn first, right? Go and go and go for learning social media marketing first, where you'll understand how to do it. Join a good institute or person who can teach you that well. or else uh, if if you know some good marketer you can always outsource this initially keep your learning right generate right. some leads and then uh, and try out initially when uh, you can do your organic things i mean start promoting your product in organic way first okay and okay. then uh, if, if it is going to be product then uh, facebook instagram are going to be very useful to you okay Now, so we'll just wrap up a show with the quick question. One last question: That what are your upcoming projects and any message to the new people who are coming in this field or want to come in this field and about your upcoming project? See, first thing, first thing I want to tell to anyone, let it be a digital marketer or an, an, any entrepreneur. Now, what you should understand is you need to create value for your customers because when a customer or any business is trusting you for your services right it is a prime responsibility that we need to deliver to them right and in proper time and the budgets what we have specified them that is a prime responsibility we need to give a focus effort now don't just think of making money from your point of view right think from the business point of view they are investing money so if it was your money you are going to count every penny now i have spent 1000 rupees 10000 rupees so what am i getting from it if i am not getting anything after that money what's what's the point in working with this person or a brand right that is very important but if you keep this in your mind right think as if this uh, it is going to be your own company and then do marketing you will see a different result not just making money for ourselves Yeah, they actually that, what happens, and if if you show that consistency, right, you will get consistent projects always. So that client becomes your client for your lifetime, and he's going to recommend you to lot many people. And if you're not doing that, and you're doing just for the money, you'll get that client for the first time, second time, but then you're going to lose it. Along with that, you lose many other clients. So that that's what I believe in, and, and that's what I always want to share to any entrepreneur. Let it be a digital entrepreneur or entrepreneur in, in any industry sector. Okay. Okay. So it was wonderful talking to you and learn. It was really a. We learned a lot actually in this session. We learned a lot. Thanks. So even it was really nice interacting with you. Thank you, thank you. I would just like to say to all the viewers to follow Rajesh Desh Pandey sir on Instagram and Madning dot Mess and keep watching Trusty Talks with Shristi. Thanks a lot, sir, for sharing a lot of knowledge with us. Thanks. Sir. Looking forward for your lessons and trainings. You're welcome. Thank you and take care. Thank you. Take care. Sir. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you guys thanks for joining and keep watching curiosity talks with shrishti thanks a lot bye bye